Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing the Oracle O20 Rugged External SSD Storage. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review sample provided by the company and in this video I'll just present to you my findings so that you can decide whether this is worth the money. And the price of this at the time of review is US $240 on Amazon and occasionally there may be coupon codes provided by Amazon where you can get this at a lower price. Items included with the purchase are the SSD and this 30cm long USB-C to USB-C and A cable. Transfer speed for this is 20 gigabits per second. The most important thing you need to know about this SSD is it uses USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 So if your computer does not support this specification, for example, if your computer's USB-C port uses USB 3.1, USB 4, Thunderbolt 4, you will not be able to get the maximum speed out of this SSD. Your computer has to explicitly mention the support for USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 otherwise the transfer speed you can get from this storage is just half, 10 gigabits per second. So this is the rugged design. It has rubber or silicone on the exterior. And this is the hidden USB-C port which is designed to keep out dust and water. The build quality for this is really solid. The rubber padding does not extend beyond the metal surface. So if you put the storage on the table, it's actually the metal that will be in contact with the table top. This is designed for good grip and there is this hole here at the corner for you to run a string through it. One downside to this design is this hole is small and this is designed for the Oracle cable. So if you lose the cable in the future, you will have to buy another cable where this part is actually small enough to go in. And the only brand that I know that sells cables with small parts or the small head is Spigen. These are the transfer speeds that I measured on my Windows computer with USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port. And even though Thunderbolt 4 is supposed to be faster than USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 you can't get the maximum speed unless you are using USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 port on your computer if you have that specific port. I tested the Oracle storage on my MacBook Pro with USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port as well and the uh, transfer speeds are slightly slower but it's still around 1 gigabytes per second read and write. Actually the storage is fast enough to edit 8K DCI 60 frames per second. So what's the advantage of buying this versus an external USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4 enclosure with your own NVMe SSD which can provide you with even faster transfer speeds. Well the main selling point for this product is the anti-shock design and this is also designed to keep out dust and water. So this is great for use outdoors in environments where it's dusty or where you cannot predict weather conditions. So to conclude, this is a product that looks good and works well. Just note the limitation with USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 And if you guys are interested to buy this, check out the Amazon affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below. See you guys in the next video. Bye!